why doctors should visit ancient temples. This is a 1,000 year old temple called the Tarakeshwara Temple. This is called the Makara Pranale. This is actually the spout in the shape of a Makara. A lot of people think that Makara is a mythical animal. This kind of animal did not exist during ancient times and the sculptors merely imagined this. And some people say that the Makara actually existed once upon a time and it became extinct. Now, let's look at this carving and show some insane detail. Look at this. Okay, so you can see that the Makara's mouth is open and the water is supposed to come out of it. This is a normal depiction. You can see this in many ancient temples. But what really surprises me is that they have carved these ridges on the palate, the, the, the roof of the mouth. You can see these ridges. And of course, if you don't have a pet, if you don't have a dog or cat as a pet, you would think these are imaginary details. But people who have pets and who have seen the inside of the mouth of these pets know that these ridges actually exist. There is a term for this, this is called ruga. Each ridge is called a ruga, and the plural is rugae, and this is called palatine rugae. And this actually exists in animal, and it has a purpose too. It holds the food in the place when you know the animal is biting the food and it helps swallow the food so it actually has a real purpose so imagine how the sculptor was able to carve these palatine rugae in the carvings but let's say you're a geek and this rugae did not blow your mind there's one more detail in the carving that's really fantastic you see this little bump just below the front teeth there's a tiny little bump and this is actually an organ yes it's an organ called the jacobson's organ if you open the mouth of a cat you will see the jacobson's organ exactly in this location as it's depicted here it's just below those front teeth and it only looks like a tiny little bump and you can see the line in the center it detects chemicals in the air so my question is how did a sculptor who lived a thousand years ago carved these ridges called rugae and also carved the Jacobson's organ inside the mouth?